Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Warpa Bavarian and this is Crusader Kings 2 and we've returned here to being a snake. We are Khorasan and we have conquered our way into Tibet. Now that was the last war that we did. I thought about actually moving our capital over here to Gar because it is pretty decent even in its technology level. But then I saw beautiful, beautiful Mangul. Because Mangul is 10, 12, 18, we are probably going to move our capital over there. And yes, I have finalized the idea, I finalized my plan, I want to become Tibet. And I want to hold on to this entire land instead of merely being, you know, the meager snake that we currently are. This means, of course, that none of this land needs to be held. But for the moment, it needs to be held quite sincerely. Because Burn, as you can see, has a holy site right here, there, here, there, and there. Meaning that I'm in control of one. Uh, a second one will be soon available. Then the third one over here. The fourth one as well. The fifth one, even maybe that one. Now, this one is a bit of a problem, primarily because we are in a situation where this one is held by someone that is a Zunist. I'm going to try and revoke the county of Kotan. I know people will hate me for it, but honestly, you gotta, you just gotta live with it sometimes. Now, we just want a war and we are going to hand those titles out, but I will hand those titles out to burn followers because, you know, at the end of the day, that is, I think, the right thing to do. Um, let me just see if I can get the county. Uh, you accept paying ra uh, ransom. That is nice. You will not marry him. Okay, that is unlucky. You have committed. Okay, you have converted to my faith. That's fine. Oh, that is a nice matrilineal betrothal. Look at that. If I can... Let's not talk about that. That is that is future music. Ignore why I was doing this. So, just to sum it up. What I just did was essentially... This is a holy site of the faith that we want to reform. The burn faith here. And I want to reform it as soon as possible, if possible. So, what I did was I revoked it from this fella here. Who is, of course, a Zunist. And then I revoked the actual church that is the holy site from a Zunist as well. And now it is all in the hands of this good fella here who is burn. Hopefully making it so that Burn can recover and get a, you know, a little bit of additional moral authority here. What I will do next is quite apparent, I think. We're going to go to war with Gyalpo Purgyal Zangtsa of Kashmir. We're going to go to war against them. Uh, excuse you? Alright, we gotta kick some people from the council, but we're gonna go to war with them because I want to expand over here so that I can move my capital and then we will push deep into Tibet. Taking all of the remaining holy sites. At the le at the very least, I hope that we can, you know, push in for the remaining holy sites. So, you, my dear friend, why don't we declare a holy war for Jigage? Now, this is, of course, not a holy site, but it brings us close to Laza, which is a holy site. And it brings us close to this one as well, as well as, you know, weakening the per uh, person that holds this holy site over here. Let's do this. I'm very excited. I think we can easily, easily turn this into an absolute victory. I could call in Dastil Yana, but don't you worry about it. We don't really need to do that. And now this war is over as quickly as it began. It was a fairly easy one, I will tell you. And I will move my capital immediately to... Uh, excuse me? Oh, we are not technically at peace. And um, I will, without a doubt, move my capital over here to Mangul. Because that is exactly how it has to be. Now, if I may... I might even be able to change it right now. We're just going to give this to you. I can't even do that, huh? Cannot give the, uh, away the capital county after moving the capital. Right, okay, so technically I'm not allowed to do that. Don't you worry about it. There are some things, of course, that I simply cannot hold, and I will hand those over to some burned followers, if possible. Not my religion, um, any. And shouldn't we have some burned people here? There you go. We get plenty of burned people, and you shall, of course, hold on to those provinces that, in particular, I literally cannot hold, because that should be fairly all right. Um, I can just hand those out to some people. It really doesn't matter, because those aren't any holy places. There is no issue whatsoever with, you know, anybody but a burned person holding any of these here. Alright, I'm gonna say it's 6 out of 4. I think that is fair. We can deal with that. Don't you worry about it. Utsang, now is your time. And I will simply go, I think, for a... Uh, we go just for, like, Conquest of Laza. I don't think we need to go fully in here with, like, a proper war. I think we're just gonna do a Conquest of Laza because that is really all I desire. Just give me Laza itself. And with a Conquest, of course, I don't actually need to go ahead and, you know... Stem the tide of a holy war. Easy. Let's make this happen. Alright, and here we go. Look at it. Khorasanian conquest of Laza. It is over. It is done. I am in love with it. We have usurped it all. And I will immediately hand it over to uh, one of the new vassals. Or, well, one of the burn vassals that we can have. Because this will, of course, be complete burn land. Let me just uh, find one here. Sure. You shall be the new lord of Laza. Have uh, fun with it. Get everything underneath as well, because this ensures that, indeed, the burn faith is at six moral authority. Man, I really hope I can raise it enough. So we now have one, two, and that's it, sadly. Can I go against you yet? Have you died? Oh, I think he has. Ah, oh, right. Wait a minute, he's no longer? Oh, wait a minute, he never was under the Western Protectorate. Oh, this is gorgeous. All right, what we're going to do here is... Let's command everyone over here. We're going to declare a war against them, and they are already... Oogies, 
Kashmirian subjugation war. I, I, I really hate that because this means I will still declare the war. I will try my best because what I really want and wait a minute. Am I blind? Yeah, I want I don't I just want this province over here. I just really want Kashmir. So if we can make that happen, that would be gorgeous. That is really everything that I need to take control of. All right, so I looked at this and I think I want a truce break. I want to try to actually push through here and make sure that we can get Gilgit. I'm not even going to do a holy war. I'm just going to do a normal conquest because I really just need this. If we get Gilgit, we will be in control of one, two, three holy sites. We can get a fourth one over here. This could be it. We could actually be able to reform Burn with this character. Let's make this happen here. If it doesn't work out, I mean, so be it. But we gotta try, right? We gotta try. And I could duel this guy. Um, you know what? I'll just, I'll just let... Don't kill me. Game, please. Don't don't kill me this quickly until, you know, before we reach the goal here. I really don't want to go through that period of my life. And here you go. It was a bit of a weird one because I had to go ahead and make it so that I can finish my war indeed before, you know, Google can finish theirs. But we did it. In the end, I can enforce my demands. And I'm going to give this piece of land, of course, you knew it already, to some random but baboon person. Because, you know, that is really all that I care about. And what we're going to do next here is probably going to be, I want to call it the last war that we will do as a Zunist. Yes, indeed, it will happen. I think Eric the Loyal, I mean, he is secretly Germanic, of course, but I think he will change things up even more than just, you know, no longer being secretly Germanic. It is the time to recognize that we either become a leader or we will be led astray. And I think to become a leader, I, of course, have to go on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to dissolve this Holy Order because they're not going to help us in any way in this war. Bailey Bay Songul II, last time you got away because you, or rather your family, converted. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to conquer Balk, which is, excuse me? Uh, my wife is voting against me. Why don't you, why don't you just leave my wife? Uh, how do you, how do you feel about that, huh? We're going to go against this. I'm going to conquer Balk and then we're going to make sure... In this case, for the first time ever, I call Industrial Yana. By the way, I was asked, hey, can you give her the crown, uh, the, the sun crown? We, we still own that. We carried it. You know, the solar crown is right here. And the answer is sadly no. I wish I could give it to her. I wish I could, you know, do anything with it really. But I just can't. Oh, here they come. They took the bait. <laughs> they swallowed the bait whole. All right, check it out. Let's get him. Let's get him, boys. I'm ready. And you immediately turn around. All right, let's check it out. This will be the battle of all battles here. Oh god. We almost lost it. That was so bad. That was genuinely so, so bad. And I would love to become brave here, actually. That is really good to pick up. Man, don't copy any of the... Uh, here's my trick on how to win wars techniques that I'm showing you in any of my videos, okay? I am apparently absolutely awful at this game, but we still won, so I'll allow it for the moment here. And with this... The war for Balk is over. Now, the thing about this is that I am not in possession of Balk. He is, and he definitely has to give me his titles. Well, his title. Because then I can take this away. We can make this happen. At least I think we can make it happen. Honestly, I'm not sure. I have no idea whether this will work out. I can only hope that it will. Balk will be yours, and I shall move my capital to Mangul, as was the plan, of course, from the start. And then we're going to... Put the crown focus here, sure, that sounds good. And I would love to become Boon. Let's do this! I really hope this will work. Personally, adopt faith. How are we doing, boys? 40. We are at 40! God damn it, we are so far and yet so close. What do I do here? Uh, do I just raid? I, I think I just raid, right? Oh, we're at 49! What happened? Kailash is partially controlled, and I know why. Oh my god, I don't know how and I don't know why, but Yalpopurgyal Palkurtsan of Guga is... Boon. Beautiful. I literally just need to... Who are you? I don't know, you get out of here. Uh, we literally just need to pillage one temple, and we will actually have it. And this, I think, will be the temple. My god, we actually will do it. This is unbelievable. Does actually everybody intend to go to Miklagar? This isn't... How dare you? Um... I guess. I'll let everyone go. I mean, all my sons have been going to Miklagard, all been dying to pneumonia, and I would rather go to Miklagard than die to pneumonia, I'll be honest with you, so... Sure, whatever you say, dude. Holy crap. We've actually done it. I can't believe how fast we have done it. That is just actually incredible. Like, that is just genuinely really amazing. Looting is not allowed. Listen. I would love to go with Peaceful, but I don't think I can do that. If anything, we could theoretically go, I suppose, with uh, Cosmopolitan right here. 
This religion discourages missionary work. Base moral authority is low. This religion can intermarry with its neighboring faiths. You know what? I think we're gonna go with it. I think we're gonna go with Cosmopolitan. I know Peaceful Fitzburn considerably better. But I think I, I, at the very least, need to be able to loot. Looting is very important to me. Harmonious uh, is what we're going to take. A close kin marriage is not allowed. Air designation is allowed. Female rulers are not penalized. And absolute cognatic law is enforced. And then over here we have Heruspacy. You know what? We could instead... Um, why don't we do maybe astrology? I mean, what's really the difference? No, you know what? Heruspacy sounds fine to me. Diviners read the signs before war to try to improve troop morale. And then I'm thinking... Bureaucratic, maybe? Great Holy Wars would be allowed. Do we really want Great Holy Wars out of the burn religion? You know what? Let's just leave Great Holy Wars behind. Not every not every reformed religion needs Great Holy Wars. We're going to go with, uh, sure, Autocephalus. You know what? That sounds about right. Then again, Autonomous would also be kind of cool. We'll never have a religious head. No Great Holy Wars. Yeah, we don't really need Great Holy Wars, I'll be honest with you. I, I think we're fine without them. Let's go Autonomous, because this gives us some uh, base learning and we can pick a branch. That sounds about right. Easy! Holy crap, we've done it. And we have done it so fast. Look at that. I I accidentally picked a trait. God damn it, because the events clicked through. Well, what am I? I'm a syncretist, apparently. This character believes in adapting some of the features of the new religions to those and to his own worship of the old gods. The Burn Reformation. The ancient Burn religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross on the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, King Eric of Coruscant and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Burn faith in order to ensure the coexistence of their religion with its new neighbors. Reorganized to give each independent clergyman full authority over his flock, the Burn faith has finally defined the fundamental differences between itself and the other Eastern religions, preventing any more of its worshippers from slipping away to Buddhism, Hinduism, and their ill this event might put in serious jeopardy the advance of the Muslim invaders in the east for Amne, Amne Machen. <sighs> We've done it. We have actually and legitimately done it. And this will be very odd, okay? Believe you me, I understand how incredibly odd this will be. But I'm going to release the territory over here because we are now in Tibet and that is where we live and that is what we do. So, um, I'm going to create Kabul. Kabulistan and Kabulistan is now in Tibet. Listen, it's a titular title, okay? Don't you worry about it. We're still an absolute cognatic uh, gable kind. Let me take a look here. Do I need to worry about any of these? I don't think we do. We have air designation anyway, so we might as well just switch to gable kind, but it doesn't really matter. Let's make Kabulistan, and this is very wacky, okay? But make it our top tier title, and now I'm gonna go ahead and this fella here, he'll do fine. Um, you are not technically. Uh, you're gonna be independent, huh? Once everything is- oh god. Should have never done it the way that I did. I regret doing that. That's gonna create some border go, but sooner rather than later it will stop being border go, so that should be fine. You know what? My dear friend, I'm gonna give you Coruscant in the hope that this doesn't go as wrong as it signals it, but... Ugh. Yeah, okay, this is- this is fine, because eventually this will become independent and then- then we'll be alright, although... Oh, I'm actually cut off from myself, huh? Oh man, you gotta be... You gotta, you gotta be kidding me, man! Well, either way, we'll make this happen, okay? Don't you sweat it. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess, but we can figure it out. The The biggest thing that is really standing in my way is just the Tang Empire with the Golden Age. Uh, but, you know, that aside, let's just conquer you. Let's just start conquering them, you know, a bit here and there. That should work out for us just fine, I think. So everything is still fine, even if we just keep this under our control. It's a bit silly that I have to run around with Kabulistan, and quite frankly, I'm gonna change this title to, uh... Bergland. Probably not even Norse, but listen, it just means mountain country, so here we are. Bergish. <laughs> uh, I, I just don't like seeing Kabulistan there, because it so obviously doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna forge a bloodline, not at this moment at the very least, that is still okay. So, just for explanation reasons, by the way, we did, of course, go and didn't become the head of a religion, but that is because of reverse psychology. King Eric the Loyal, you know what he said? He said, Ragnar the Victorious, oh god, he crowned himself a god, and then he died. He's nothing. But you know what? So are we all. He said, the ghosts, the spirits, everything is good, and, you know, yada yada. Here is my stereotypical pop culture take on Eastern theology, and that is essentially what went down here. So he said, just leave them be. They can respect me as I am because I don't need the approval of anyone. He said, 
eyeing whether people agreed that he didn't need approval or not. But um, I, we got some people here that are quite angry with us. I don't think it matters too much because I've shifted them underneath some dukes here that should be fine. Uh, this guy, I mean, honestly, I didn't, don't even want to take. I don't want to keep, I should say. I don't want to keep Kutal. But we'll see where this goes. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just happy I can plunder, I can do holy wars now. We can reform, or rather we can uh, make people convert. All of that stuff is pretty decent. What I'm more thinking about is what exactly can I do when it comes to the topic of going north? Because again, Tang Empire. So what I've been thinking is um, instead of, you know, trying to push north without any chance of actually getting it done, what we are instead going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to blob out into bed. We're going to get our own little, you know, mountain kingdom, Bergland will rise and... I hope that we can make something out of this. Do we have a pact? Oh, you do two pacts, actually. A tribal vassal right there. But that is okay. I think we want to go to war against Yalp and Amgyal Konchuk the Bold. Because I want to establish myself over here in eastern... Oh, well, center Tibet, actually. There is Calm that is not on the map. Calm, uh, quite big, actually, but uh, part of the Tibetan cultural area. Now, let me see here. What do we go to war for? These are three provinces, but honestly, I mean... Uh, we got to take this entire thing down anyway, right? It doesn't really matter where I start taking it down, but... We have to take it all down. So let's just start with these two because that is, of course, also the capital. And maybe we can uh, bring in some more instability into the realm. As you can see, this war is over. Honestly, it was a quite simple one. Um, there is not much opposition when we have very good tank, very good troops, all of which, uh, all of which is, of course, ideal. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, what I will do is I will still make Kingdom of Utsang. If we die and it goes to like some weirdo, then we can still focus it out, right? But this will be our primary kingdom now. Utsang is under our control. Absolutely gorgeous. And with that, we're going to stick together, of course. I wish I could control Bergland. Oh, you can because it's not an actual title. It's titular. Thank you so much. God, this is beautiful. Look at that. We're Utsang. We just, we just literally destroyed his title by attacking him there. That was just gorgeous then. I mean, so much better than anything that I had in mind. Alright, as you can see, I already conquered a decent chunk of land over here. Now, what I want to do, and I don't know whether this is possible, I honestly don't think it is, and I'm very afraid to try it, uh, to begin with here, but I'm thinking they might be in a golden age, but sometimes war declarations can be a bit finicky. Now, I will go ahead and try to force vassalize this fella. Maybe nothing bad will happen, maybe everything bad will happen. Let's just, let's just try it, shall we? So... Um, I am surprised, I'll be honest with you. I don't play all that much in the area over here, you know, close to China. But I thought that China would always come actually in and aid their tributaries, but, I mean, they definitely didn't. They, without a doubt, did not come in to aid these fellas. This is, uh, this is over. Interesting. And we are also bankrupt. Goodbye. So, I need you to know that this is a new recording, you know, yesterday I recorded a bit of this episode and then today I'm going to record the rest of the episode. And I looked at this and I now know about a couple of things. First of all, don't worry about the characters of special interest, they are of special interest, of very special interest to me, but, you know, all of this could fall through, maybe nothing will happen and then you don't need to know about it, don't worry. You know, sounded more mysterious than it really is. What matters is, or rather, are two things. I was pointed out, hey, if you go and, you know, do temporal for all of the religions that you reform, then you will always get a crown, and getting a crown, of course, is a bit of a souvenir, right? And I agree, and that is a cool idea. Sadly, I had already reformed Boone, and I chose the, you know, no religious head is kind of a hierarchy for Boone. But I will say that at the end of the day, I would rather have every faith be individual and be very special, you know, kind of like a, a very... Uh, individually created thing uh, instead of just having everybody be temporal just so that I can get the crowns because the crowns just sit in my inventory anyway so I'm okay with this this is perfectly fine now the other thing that I do want to approach is that I learned and I don't play that often close to China so I wasn't fully aware that unless the protector general himself holds any land on the map he will never come into any wars if he does hold land on the map then we would be screwed but he doesn't so this is absolutely beautiful what we can do now means that you know we can actually declare wars against any and all people under the western protectorate they will have no way of actually properly fighting back i'm a huge fan we're gonna make this happen and uh I think this is pretty much it. Let's just, you know, jump into this. I'm going to clean up the map here a bit, and then we're going to work our way north, because, of course, King Eric the Loyal's, you know, uh, kind of duty was to reform Boone, but we need to get this achievement. After the achievement is done, we can leave all of this behind. I am very excited for it. Now, as you can see, I have hired a couple of people from China that know the way of the leopard, meaning that we are sieging at incredible speeds, because, you know, you gotta go fast. That's just, uh, that's just really how the story goes at this point. 
And look at that. The war is already over. Everything is so much easier knowing that the Western Protector can't actually come in because now I can just go around and dunk on people. And dunk we shall. And honestly, dunked we have. Now, I'm going to give all of this stuff out because obviously I don't really care for it. I'm going to do it in a way where I'm going to give it to the rest of my family. Oh my god, excuse me. Yeah, that is currently not holding any titles because I think that is very much a fair distribution. And then we will no longer have to deal with all this nonsense of splitting and, you know, all the other stuff that is going on here. You, my dear friend, you get this county and everything that is in it and then I want you to convert. Thank you very much. Who else is there? We have a uh, Bearsy. Wait, Bearsy? And aren't you? No, you're not Bazzy. You're, you're No, you are that Bazzy. Why are you getting titles? Are you? Lo I'm losing my mind. Honestly, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, and damn! Great Holy Wolf for Iraq. We have both Zabudistan, by the way, and Khorasan under the control of the Western Protectorate. Now it is a bit ridiculous, but it is what it is. And she is calling for a Great Holy Wolf for Iraq. I also think that she is probably going to pass away quite soon, but her son will inherit, and that is okay. And God, Zoon God, the Sun God, the Giver of Justice, Svan Hildur, Eric, and Frederick shall win. And when you look at that, the war's over. I think we actually captured him here. King Eric the Loyal holds him prisoner. You know what? I'm gonna ransom this guy because this will make me money and then I will still be able to piece him out. As you will be able to see in a second here. There you go. Look at that. You got ransomed and yet you've been defeated. Thank you so much for the free land. I really, really appreciate it, my friend. Beautiful. Look at this. We are making our way north now and I think that is really the dream. That is really where we want to be at here. Now I'm thinking I'm just gonna hand this out to some random guy. Um, You. Howdy there, Botulfre. Can I get the duchy under my control? Yes, I can, because he technically no longer holds anything under his control. Botulfre, new fella. How would you feel about becoming the Jarl of all Geoquan? That's a nice thing, isn't it? Have fun with it. And oh god, I did not notice this because I didn't look down here, but... Dastuiliana died. She was killed by a wild beast at the age of 58. What a strange way to go. And now we have a split here with Sistan. With Zabulistan and with Persia. All, of course, still Zunist, but is no longer a single Zunist power. And I do think that that has a very strong impact on how the Zunists can perform. And on top of that, in just about six years, I think we will see Seljuk spawn in. And that will most certainly wreak havoc in the region. We'll see how it goes. I'm very excited to actually see the result of uh, the Zunist adventure over there. It couldn't be endless. You know, that's just the way it goes. But, damn, and we've passed away. During the war to connect our lands, which means that this didn't become independent, we passed away. But look at the legacy that was created here in Utsang by King Eric. I am so proud of King Eric the Loyal. It's still a dumb nickname. I mean, you know, I wish he hadn't gotten that nickname, but that is okay. He is so much more than just King Eric the Loyal. He died to gout. And honestly, that's fair. He, you know, gout mostly comes along, um, at least at these times, when you have a bit of a decadent lifestyle. And I think he deserved a decadent lifestyle after everything that he has achieved just one year away from perfection, though. That's a that's a real shame, uh, shame but it doesn't really matter, because his daughter has taken over. Queen, I uh, Queen Ingfried of Utsang, and I think, uh, I think, I can't talk today, I think, uh, but I think... Today we're going to go ahead and we are actually going to make the dream come true. Never start a land war in Asia, I hope, can be achieved with Queen Ingfried. Now that would be the absolute dream. This war again is still going. We defeated one of their, or you know, uh, I think most of their troops really. And uh, well, now it's just a waiting game I, I, I suppose. But we can definitely get this done and we will get this done. I'm worried about the Zunists, but I mean I always was worried about the Zunists and... Oh yeah, look at that. Khalif Samir is now winning. All of the Zunists have been fought back. Many of which aren't even involved anymore. I think he's the only one. Oh, that's a, that sucks. No, okay, he's not the only one. Sistan is in it, but Sistan has nothing. Yeah, that's kinda, that kind of sucks. King Knud, for example, not being in this war is a bit of a shame. And neither is he. King Botulfre, the Sword of God, Sun God, and so on and so forth. Yeah, a bit of a weird situation. Now, who are we? Queen Ingfried. A brilliant strategist, a direct leader, a genius, groomed, militant, greedy, diligent, proud, and kind. We are an amazing person, and as always, I will focus on, law, uh, on war as you do. Now, we have a son already that is in the making, that's Harkon, but I honestly don't desire Harkon to be our proper heir. Skuld would make a good queen, I think. Skuld, nope, you are the opposite of a good person. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what, let's just vote for Skuld here. I don't know whether this will actually go through, but I think that is fine. Even if it doesn't, she's already 10 years old. Um, I'm going to matrilineally marry her to someone, you know. We're going to make this happen. We're going to make this work out. I think that is really the conclusion that we all should come to here. I will also go ahead and actually join the Sentinels of Light. 
I shall join the Warrior Lodge. We haven't been a member of a Warrior Lodge in this entire playthrough, so I think this is fair. Who are you? Why are you the next one to inherit? What is what is going on here? Are we still... Look at Ragnar. He's still here, and he's actually going to be... This is amazing. I'm a huge fan of all of this. Oh my god, Ascalon! Chief Orm of Ascalon still exists. Jaffa even still independent. This is amazing. Um, the, the weird impact that we had on the world is just... It, it is... Truly breathtaking, honestly. It's just so amazing to see all of this nonsense develop. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I mean, you could have already guessed, I suppose, but I'm a huge fan. And I think again that it is time to commission a runestone. Now, the thing about it is that our father was never too committed to the idea of Burn. He just wanted to, you know, be better than his father and say, Oh, I don't even need to be declared a god. I already know that I'm amazing. But she herself is kind of brought into the Burn reform pagan thing. So what I'm going to say is, hey, King Eric... You know what, my dear father, thank you so much for creating this reformed burn faith. It, re it really means the world to me. So let's raise this runestone. Um, I think we can do it until like 1100, right? So this sounds about right. Uh, we are currently plundering and I am taking attrition, it seems. Um, in memory of Eric, the runestone you commissioned has been finished. This stone was raised by Ingfried. In memory of Eric, her father and Ragnar's son. He was a caring father and husband and lived a good life. Ever will stand this memorial. Good for you. Good for you indeed. What the hell is going on over here? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, all right, okay, 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 okay. We, we have an opportunity at our hands here. We have an opportunity at our hands right here. Oh man, and we also have the gout. I don't think at this point that Queen Ingfried is actually the person to carry us through, you know, everything related to the Eastern Steps, but that's okay. We got time, and I'm not gonna read the Zune Bible. Are you crazy? There's a horse with a name, Fatty. You gotta be. Oh my god, <laughs> this game sometimes, man. All right, I am actually getting incredibly skittish because I think we are in front of a major opportunity that I wasn't sure would be coming. And frankly, I don't even know if this is going to work because it is not actually a proper mechanic in CK2. It's just something that you can do, or at least as far as I know, can do. But that will actually work out as something entirely different. I antagonized Khan Suleiman the Wolf because Khan Suleiman the Wolf is uh, someone that holds a title that Bezi Axon, Axon Corson holds a claim on. If he dies, then... Tolun Suleiman Noglu would uh, be the new person, or the new ruler, which means that there's a regency, meaning I could push the claim of Bezi, meaning Bezi could be my heir, meaning I might be able to become Nomad. Whether that is actually true, I am not fully sure of, but what I can tell you is um, I'm gonna duel this guy and I'm gonna win. Khan Suleiman the Wolf has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. Let's do it. Let's convene with my agents. We both die, are you serious? That's actually... That's actually fine. Strangely enough, I think that's actually gonna be fine. No, what did you do? We both die. Queen Skuld takes over. Did anyone of you become independent? No, everything's still very normal, I'll take it. Doesn't really look like a loss to me. Hello, Queen Skuld. Um, your mother died in, in a combat uh, situation against some weirdo. There he goes, he's also done now. No. The next step, and it's of course a bit weird that our mother died there, but the next step is essentially that I declare a war against you. I, why can't I declare a war against- Ah, the regency hadn't been declared yet. I declare a war against you to claim Kid Mugai. First of all, let's put more people on the council. Holy crap, if this works, this is a huge, a huge game changer. Seriously, this actually would uh, change everything. Now, as for some money, it doesn't look too fine, uh, it doesn't look too good here, but... You know, I'll make do. Let's extort our subjects a bit. Uh, what about... Ooh. Huldi Daktri is wealthy. Huldi Daktri, you fool. I will take that gold, absolutely. Even though you have explained it, it is in detail to Daktri. He still does not understand why you're plundering his mansion. It would seem evident that giving up some of your wealth in support of the realm is the right thing to do, but Daktri has nothing... Uh, is having none of it. This gravely upsets Huldi Daktri's entire dynasty. Who cares? I may turn stressed. I did not. Get screwed, buddy. Let's hire some mercs here. I need to win this war. This is absolutely vital. If you don't fully understand it, what I'm doing is I'm putting one of my relatives into a position of being a horse lord in the hopes that I can become a horse lord by elective gable kinding him. And holy crap, 
we actually did it. He's now a horse lord. Oh, what did I just do? Um, he is now a horse lord. That much is entirely correct. My cousin is right here. Not currently my heir because people are voting for other people apparently. Where the hell is he? He's all the way down there. So I need people that actually vote with me. Oh, they really hate him. He's an encroaching foreigner ruler. All right, so there is chaos, and this is a very, very weak position, but I think this is exactly what we need, and I know that this sounds very odd, but I feel like we can actually make this work. He is now a one-province minor horse lord, but a one-province minor horse lord is still pretty okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna commission a runestone so that I can get some prestige here. Gonna let it speak of- listen, I don't actually know, my beloved mother, sure. It does- it really doesn't matter. What matters is that I have the prestige to actually revoke a title, okay? That's- that's all I care about. So give me the damn thing and we can talk about it, please. There's a real opportunity, a completely nonsensical opportunity, but an opportunity that you just gotta love. Memory of Ingfried, Ingfried, good for you. Hello there. I'm gonna try and revoke a title from someone that will definitely say no. Somebody that maybe is already rebellious, something like that anyway. We'll say maybe. I don't want to see the maybes here. I wanna oh, there you go. That's a big no. I love the big no. Give me the biggest of no's. Now, as you can see, there's a rebellion going on. I'm immediately going to surrender to this rebellion. And now we see what happens. Please, game. Holy shit. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> it actually happened. I'm losing my mind. I can't believe that we actually did it. We actually did it. Oh my god. We actually became nomads. This is absolutely wild. I am <laughs> I am so amazed by this. I am completely amazed by this. Now this is a, we're in a horrible situation. I mean, just don't get me wrong, in an absolutely atrocious situation, but I think we can make some things work here. I think we can get some things to work. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I hope that you know why I'm just so incredibly excited by this. This is completely nonsensical and I love it. And I think I'm, I'm gonna lose this rebellion, I feel. Um, it's just for this one, it's a Buddhist rebellion. I can't really do much about that, I fear. Holy crap. Do I know what I'm doing? Oh, I definitely don't know what I'm doing. I have zero ideas of what I am doing. But I'm doing it. We in this, boys. We absolutely in this and look at you. I'm immediately, no matter what else we're gonna do here, I'm immediately going to declare war against this fella just so that I can take one more piece of land. So I'm the nation of Kazakh. Um, okay, let me reorder the realm. Was this cheesy? Oh, it was the cheesiest thing I've done in my entire life. But now we're nomads and now is the time that we conquer eastwards. The Norse nomads are coming. And we're coming. Big time. Holy crap, I cannot believe this worked. Here's what we do. I don't think I can stand against them because I just don't have the money to really do it. I don't have the money to do anything about that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to say, you know what? You got me. I'm going to lose 500 prestige. That really hurts. But there you go. You're going to now be in control of your own destiny over there. Yeah, it, it really, that, that cost me uh, uh, quite a bit here in terms of numbers. But that's fine. We can live without the numbers. The horses over there, of course, are gone now at this point. That's, uh, that's a bit of a, that sucks. Yeah. I would like, can I invite Lightfoot? Are you a real horse? You are not a real horse. Hello there. Um, I would like to get rid of one of my concubines. Maybe even both. Um, set a concubine aside. Yes, goodbye. Hello, horse there. I would like to talk to Lightfoot because I need her as a concubine. You. Honest to God, I think we're just ending this episode here. I don't quite know what I'm going to do about all of this stuff. I think we have so much potential here. Maybe I should just let this area splinter. Just, you know, just let him go. Just let him be splintered and be done with that. I don't know, but this is incredible. I can't believe it actually fucking worked, yo. I cannot believe it. Incredible. I want to thank the members of the channel that are making videos such as this one possible that are making this entire series possible. Namely the Barons, Aaron, Stefan, the Richest T, Snywolf, Emma, Mello, Thomas, Lachlan and Mitchell. Then of course also the Counts, Shifty, Wombat and Kazen. And last but not least the absolutely beautiful Dukes, Suspicious Dark, Nathan, Knight of Squires, Kenneth, Lexo, Eric and Aiden. Thank you all for supporting the channel. I hope that you're all having as much fun with this one as I am. And see you later, alligator.